Hello, and welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. And I'm still Sharon. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us again this week for Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. We do look forward to hearing from you all every week, so we get excited about putting our video out and looking for your comments. So it's kind of something we enjoy doing. Yeah, indeed. Um, so if you're new to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa, hello, and please like, subscribe, and share our videos. We would appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we get into today's uh, topic, you know it's shout out time, right? Yeah. Mm -mm. It's shout out. Um, first shout out goes to 50 Shapes of Grey. Thank you for your comments. I know it's been a while since we heard from you, but we still appreciate you and we hope that you're still watching Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. Um, secondly is LD. Thank you for your comments and for yeah. being a subscriber. And last but not least, Queen we Up. Queen Up. I love the name. I do. Um, thank you, Queen, for being a, a subscriber to Conversations mm -hmm. with Sharon and Rosa and for liking and you know, sharing our videos. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Well, now I got a special announcement. Oh, we do. A, we do have an announcement. Well, first of all, I know we told you all that we were going to have guests this week, but um, hopefully that's next week or, mm -hmm. or, you know, when we can get our schedules together. So that's what's Better, going on. Yeah. Just getting, mm -hmm. trying to um, connect the schedule. So, uh, we said we were going to have guests talking about toys. Right. Um, but, We'll have guests, and we'll be talking about toys, but not today. Okay. Um, so what... The special announcement was that um, last week, I think we filmed our, our 100th oh, video. yeah. 100 videos. Oh, come on. Give it up. Come yeah. on. Yeah. We did. I forget about that. 100. I don't know how... Look, look. It's been 100 weekends, which means that two years of, ooh, just out here every Sunday. Dealing and, with her. And, and, and I with her. <laughs> Enough said. You look, y'all have met her. You've seen her. All sympathy for the old babe, right? Whatever. So, well, seriously, even when we were traveling, I remember we had to do the show. Uh, we were down in uh, New Orleans, and yeah. we were melting. <laughs> it was just so hot. They yeah. got mosquitoes bigger than people. And it's just, it's just too much, just too much. But, but we still did the show, and I mean, I, it, it was just, even with, you know, on, right. you know, traveling. I know you at the airport, you at dinner somewhere, but you like, we still got to do a show. And uh, you guys have been right there with us, and, and we appreciate through all the ups and downs, yeah. through the mistakes you've seen, through my eyelash issues. Oh, which that I'm was still funny. Going through my eyelash <laughs> issues, y'all know that I don't have but eyelash <laughs> issues. Notice that <laughs> with all of that, we appreciate you for hanging in there with us and giving us, you know, the uh, the uh, feedback that you all did. Yeah, which helped us grow and yeah. get better. And you know, we had the heart to action and the courage to go look at our first two videos, and we were like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. How did we ever make it? And but on the suggestions, and we had um, oh, what's his name? So hopefully we'll get no. better and better. Um, suggestions? No, no um, Sharia's dad. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's been our biggest fan. Gregory. Yeah. Yeah, Gregory uh, Gum uh, Grumby. Is it Gumby? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm messing Grambly, up. Grambly. Grambly. But is. anyway, Gregory, you know who you are. <laughs> he, right from the shoot, the first shoot, he just gave us some gave us some wonderful um, feedback and just kind of helped us, yeah. you know, refine some things. So no one does this by you know in a vacuum. And, um, and we do love you, even though we can't get your name right, but we do love you. Yeah, great. I know it's Gregory, but in any event, <laughs> uh, just. Um, you know, he was just, I mean, this is the father of a good friend of ours. So, you know, just to show you how far we've come as a as a gay community and how we touch every, you know, other people yes. and how they touch us, yes. you know. And so we, I feel that we owe some of our success to him. Yeah. So now those announcements are over. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> um, today's topic is... See, we surprising y'all because we still going to talk about toys. We're right. just not going to talk about toys with our guests. With our guests. Because with, with yes, this but is part one. This is this part is one. This is Girls with Toys, Yes or No, part one. Right. So, we still giving y'all toys. Yeah. And, and the reason why we start here, because it all starts with a 
conversation. Yeah, yeah. Right? So and we, I, go ahead. Then I got to put a little disclaimer out because um, I've never really been comfortable talking about, like, bedroom stuff um, out in the open. She's a good old but, Southern girl. <laughs> but one of the things, you know, that I put on my um, list to overcome with this conversations with Sharon and Rosa um, thing is that I want to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. So <laughs> you all are going to hear some stuff today <laughs> that you may, may may surprise you or if not. You're uncomfortable. You might want to turn it off. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but we've talked about so many other things, sweetie. Yeah. You know, right. and, and, and I appreciate you being honest about that because it's, uh, it's not an everyday conversation, but nothing uh is taboo for us to talk about we're talking about we're women who are in relationships and we loving one another and yeah. dealing with life so you know you got to talk about what's real and what's on your table yeah. uh but um spinning it back a little bit you know if you guys those of you all who've been with us for for a while there is no subject that is taboo for us. Absolutely. We have talked about, oh, God. Especially at this point. We yeah. just like, whatever. Ro romance, uh, <laughs> finding a woman, old women with Children. young women, safe sex, uh, bankruptcy, dealing with your finances. Yes. Uh, we've talked about a lot, a lot of things. A lot of things. You know what I mean? So I'm surprised we haven't discussed this. And a couple of, you know, you know, every week, you know, as we live together and dealing with life and, you know, trying not to catch COVID and all that, it's been a lot of things happening to a lot of people in the last two and yeah. a half years. Yeah. And uh, you guys have been there with me somewhere in there. I slipped out and had surgery, serious surgery, and y'all saw me, there's gonna be a couple of videos, I'm all taped up, I look like Frankenstein, but it's like, is she alive? <laughs> you know, but I'm still but we good. we still bought it to you. We still we bought it to see, you, yes. and how blessed we are, we talk about that too. We've talked about religion, we talked about God, we talked about yeah. uh, uh, Holy Sanctified, and, and yeah, so, why we haven't talked about toys is just amazing, amazing to me, you know, so please, with your permission, we'll go on. Today, we want to talk about it because, uh, um, like I say, every week we have to come up with a topic, but just living and loving together, something comes up during the week and we say, babe, hey, maybe we need to talk about that a little more. And we're selfish. We talk it about, we talk about it first amongst just the two of us. Yeah. Because you be like, we in the real world too. So it's not just a conversation for you. Before it becomes a conversation for you, it's a conversation with us. Right. Uh, Y'all know I had some um, difficulty adjusting to, it wasn't marriage, it was marriage with children. Marriage to a woman whose children were uh, yet to be teenagers. So, you know, we've talked, we done talked about some stuff, okay? We didn't talk about it. Yeah, and then we get phone calls or when we see a friend of ours like, girl, I didn't know that about you, and I'm surprised about Miss Rosa. You know, so we, we deal Nobody's with that too. Nobody's surprised about Miss Rosa. Trust and believe. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I get some feedback, you know, because <laughs> how we kind of divvy up the um, assignments here, like she is my personal tech assistant, uh, no, because she's just so computer uh, um, um, literate, uh, literate and she call. just, um, and, and I told her, so you should really change careers because she just has a natural affinity for it. Uh, like she does something in three seconds and it takes me maybe three hours. Mm -hmm. You know, Rosa said, first turn it on. Boom. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, generational differences, you know. So so with that, not to belabor that, we um, we come up with a topic. And so, um, you know, looking at movies, uh, living our life, uh, our connections and how we communicate with each other. And I said, babe, it's time for us to talk about toys because even now we still well, somebody have. Somebody else asked us to talk about it, too. Huh? So it, yeah. a couple of ours. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to true. Talk about it too. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's just jump on, jump on into it. You know what I mean? It, the title for today's conversation is "Girls with Toys." Yes or no? And when I say girls, that's generic for all the women out there, all everybody out there in lesbian land and far beyond. Because Absolutely. if you if you up and active and having fun uh, with somebody's child, and when I mean somebody's some grown person with you, I mean child, but uh, you know, you're doing something in the bedroom and we want to keep it entertaining. You want to keep it like, oh gosh, I know dinner at six, sex at seven. You know what I mean? No. Hey, we, somebody like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to need it scheduled. Well, I'm going to, I like schedules myself. I, I don't. You know, she's more, uh, how about now? 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 
And it'd be two o'clock in the morning. How about now? No, uh-huh. like ten o'clock. I mean, just to, for me, the whole urge of sex is is that's what it is. The urge. When you get the urge, it doesn't matter. You know, you don't have to schedule stuff because I may not have the urge at eight o'clock when she wants to schedule it. You know, so I mean, oh, it's scheduled and I'm sleeping. Right. How about that? Let's call it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm problem. and I'm a morning person. She's got she works. I'm retired. So I want to do something. I want to start your day right. And she's like, babe, I got to I got to get dressed. I got to go. And I'm like, I, what do I do with all this? So, again, so what we're talking about today is toys. Do you like them? Do you have them? Well, do you want them first? OK, do you want them? Do you have them? And if you have them, are you using them? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And I'll tell you a little funny That's story us. about that, you know, because y'all know we re- re- relocated uh, from Rose's uh, home in um, in Oceanside, so we're in San Diego now, and and, and uh, we uh, yeah, we've been in San home. Diego for over three years. So, now. but we had this wonderful box of compiling nice little toys. We have some stuff in storage and a lot of stuff in boxes here and in the garage. I can't find the toys. I done looked. I done oh, looked yeah. everywhere. So, so that's my problem right now. And I'm, I'm just going to own us that. We look. Where's the toys? Not that we need them, but sometimes we want them. Okay. So we're throwing the question out there to you guys. I mean, how many of y'all are into, you know, just your little helpers? You know, uh, you loving a woman, romancing her, satisfying her, and yourself as well. Do you need toys? Do you like them? Do you want them? Do you know how to use them? Hmm. That's what we want to talk about today. Well, <laughs> let's start out with how to use them. No, 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 no. You got to before you even how to use them. <laughs> no, do you want them and do you have them? Okay. Okay. First, so, so I'm going to act like I've never met Rosa before and I'm going to ask her. Rosa, do I want them? Well, yeah. How do you feel about toys? No, I don't necessarily want them. Hmm. Um, I think they are needed in at certain times in your relationship. And the reason why I don't want them is because half the time I don't really know how to use them. But that's because I haven't been prone to using them before. Right. I used to be um, satisfied with, you know, all of the work that I do to satisfy my partner right yeah. so i never even thought about toys um before but um hmm. but my it's, conversation you know with my wife from you know from years is yeah let's try this let's try this and sharon and she'll tell her story you know has said well you should probably try this you'll probably like it you know because she's been there but um so i've done stuff just because uh, let's just see you know so we did buy some toys <laughs> And we can't find them, but we've ordered a few <laughs> things since then. And um, we started with just a plain dildo, because like I said, I've never even had any. I don't think we have to go that deep. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so we started with like just a plain <laughs> dildo. But like I said, I don't really know how to use stuff. I'm not a big penetration type person, but I will... But. Are we talking about toys? Because, ah, I mean, we got to give I'm it kidding. time real. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just So I'm not a big, big penetration type person. But, um, but you know, I'll try stuff. But then we bought the little strap that you hook on to put, you know, the little dildo in. Yeah. You know. I still don't know how to put that on. And Sharon <laughs> don't know how to put it on. Or do you know how to put it on? You just haven't. She might know how to More to come on that one. <laughs> hmm. As we tell you guys, we but, do not rehearse. I do not know what's going to come out of Rosa. I thought we were just talking about toys. See, when you tell me we're talking about something, I'm yeah. laying it out. I'm giving yeah. you, Aries. you know. Aries. But, but I told them to turn it off if they're going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm kind of uncomfortable too. Don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to be okay with it. So, um... So with that, to answer your question, is do, do I want toys? No, I don't necessarily want them. I do think they're needed, though. Okay, and, so you think that... time, I don't. Right, I really so they're, don't if they're needed sometimes, but you don't want them. Yeah, what just are you to saying? spice stuff up. Like, okay, Sometimes, okay. you know, things could get boring. Like, Sharon, like... Hey, 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 hey! Just bedroom action. I, I, 
I, I think she wants to go around the house. It. She wants to like, let's do it in, yeah, in the laundry like, room. On the, on the wash machine. You know, she ain't be like, no, let's go to the bed. Okay. We can start in the backyard. She'd be like, no, let's go to the bed. Uh, we can start in the living room. No, we let's go to the let, bed. Let me tell you this. There'll be no sex on the rooftop because if I roll over and fall off the roof, we know what happened to Humpty Dumpty. So I'm just saying, I think toys sometimes to spice stuff up yeah, um, yeah. when it becomes repetitive to do it like maybe the same way each time or, mm-hmm. or whatever so yeah. but that's something you and your partner would need to talk about because some people are comfortable with toys and some are not right and i um, am getting comfortable with toys i okay. never have been in my life before so but now she's an old married woman and you know yeah. look look that and same old po- woman period wait wait yeah <laughs> now, now that she's 50 it's fatal uh <laughs> try 67 Oh, I'm Whatever. feeling perky, you know, but it, um, yeah, it does get repetitive because you're with the same person. Well, <laughs> but you could do it different, different ways in yeah. different places yeah. and, you know, kind of spice it up. So so which one of us do you think would want to go to the beach and in the sand <laughs> and let the waves come up? Okay. Uh, look, look, I, just, I would love to just try something once. And folks, that's just my thing. It's not, it doesn't, not that I feel the need to explain myself or defend for my old school people out there, look, I just need clean sheets, <laughs> towels, and maybe a small glass it's of water. It's too much setup. <laughs> you just got to go with the flow. She just I don't need all food. that. Look, look, By that time, it's like, I'm done. I don't even want, I'm not even in the mood because we got to. Oh, speaking of setup, honey, you know the setup is already done. When you come in that bedroom, you kind of know, like, was a cleaning lady here? Oh, what? Lights all dim, can't you know? Candles going and stuff. You smell something in the air, and then you're just like, "Oh, she trying to do something with me tonight?" <laughs> yes, I am. So, so here we go. I'm old school, been around for a long time. Y'all know my story. Will not bore you with it today, but I would say in my day, um, yeah, I was definitely into toys. I had so many toys. People thought I was a doctor because I always had this black bag. Actually, it was oh, a medical bag. So when you went to a booty call, you bought I, your I bag. Was re- I was ready. Like, that's nasty. I was ready. So here we go. Um, um, the handcuffs, the gels, the rubs, the um, straps, the dildo, vibrators, um, a couple of sizes, double D or C. Um, I, you know, I was into a lot of things. Uh, like life don't owe me no chance, uh, no changes. They say, been there, done that. Uh, yeah, wrote a book about it, want to read it. That's that's me. And um, it wasn't just a phase. It's just that, you know, I was dating a lot of women. I was having different encounters with different women. I was in the Navy just about 22 years. I, I got around. And... And not that I take pride in that, but uh, I'm surely not ashamed of it, but I was, hey, it was the 70s and the 80s. You can, ex- you, you understand, right? Uh, so I know no two women are alike. Mm-mm. I don't care if they're twins. How you can please one person is different what the next person wants. And we know that. So right when you think you, uh, uh, I, can, I got this, I got this. She, she may go in there and she turned the bedroom, she turned the bed around on you. The one with the four posters, so you know, like I don't, you know, we done been rocking in water beds. That was the seventies. Uh, the four poster thing and the brass beds. Whatever phase you fall into, notice I different timelines, right? So, like I said, I've been out there for a long time, and um, I got very comfortable with the things that I did, and I knew, like, no, we had never had sex before. We're at that point right now. I got something between me and this bag, we're gonna be able to cure what ails you. Mm-hmm. That's how I felt, right? So um, I never assumed that what a woman wants, but we got to have the conversation. I don't want no surprises. Right. You know what I mean? Like some people, music, no music. Uh, lights on, lights off, and you know how y'all feel. I don't, look, you can really give up all your goodies. I don't want her to see my birthmark, honey. She done seen more than your birthmark. Well, I definitely don't think you need toys the very first time. Like, that just, you got to get to know the person Hmm. and what they like without the toys. Now. And then incorporate that. Okay, now I'm talking long ago and far away, but how about if the first time is your last time? You get one shot at talking, you know, hitting it with the queen, right? So, so we're not not in a long-term relationship. If that's the situation with you and this woman that you're dealing with, y'all might only wind up having sex two times, but let it be very impactful. 
It should be. Like, you're excited anyway for your the, the first time you're with somebody. It should normally. be. Yeah, so normally. So you don't really need toys. But I'm not. If somebody come with a bag of toys, unless they opening them up, I'm not using them. I don't oh, know yeah, where yeah. they oh, been. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. And that's enough. We did talk about that. We talked about sanitation and toys. So to and me, toys. that's already a turn off. I'm just, I just want to be with that person. Like, mm. We good with the toys? Well, it's like if, if, you're talking, if you're talking straight sex and you're talking to this man like, oh, I don't know where that dick been. Well, same way with women. I don't know where that dildo been. <laughs> you know what I mean? So whatever well, you do. True, too. Right. That's all I'm saying. We have talked about sanitation of toys. I think when we were talking about safe sex. Yeah, that's true. I mean, right. But, right. And that's just common sense. But evidently it's not common sense isn't always common. So... Uh, but before you did, you would just not jump in the, in, in the bed and like, here, I got 14 things to, to get you there. Hey, what do you like? You know, because you do, I, I don't understand how people wind up in the bed with each other and you, you know so very little about that person. Right. You know what I mean? You know, I ain't saying I'm But that's why you don't I'm need incorporate toys. That's right. part of getting to know somebody. I think we have an anti-toy person here. I'm not anti-toy. <laughs> I'm just saying I want to, you know, know like what spots on your body, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. if I'm kissing your whole body that you're going to mm, swirm, you know, whatever mm -hmm. with. If you got toys, it, it, it seems like the toys are doing the work. And well, that's a lot of times, yeah. Well, they definitely add. Mind. Yeah, they add to the uh, situation. I yeah. personally don't mind putting the work in. That's all I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> she's so young and perky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind work. Well, well, I don't mind putting work in too. But I have to admit, the older I get, um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, things the older do change. You, get, you try to be that. Uh, what they call it? The the pillow princess. Oh, now that ain't me. I know. Uh, oh, see, see now you see that reputation destroyed. <laughs> there you go, because my wife said filling up. Well, Wait technically, I might be a lot of things, but I ain't that. <laughs> well, technically, when you when you're back before your surgery, you kind of was. Oh, because okay. you couldn't move a lot of different. Well, ways. right, right, right. But you know, when you know each other and you love each other, you you, you should know your partner or get to yeah. know your partner. Yeah, you know what I mean. And and oftentimes, you know, you know our lesbian relationships, we go from zero to five thousand in one weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean? And especially if it was good sex, okay? So, right? And so now you're just like, well, how far? Look, I did, you know, you live 18 miles away, and why can't we just get together so we're only like four miles away? Well, how, better yet, why don't you move in? You know what I mean? You know, the sex had to be real good, because you know how we do. Or the connection is good. No, the connection is too, but yeah, the connection, but part of that connection is sex too, usually. Yeah. Usually, but it's wonderful when it comes together. Now, as we say that, Seldom do you have that first time knock me out sex. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If, unless you just got real, real lucky. You know, you don't even know each other's body yet. Right. I, and, and if you haven't had that conversation, they're like, look, what do you like? What do you want? And how can I give it to you? Right. Right? Now, if she's a person who just, uh, you just lost her attention on the last, the first five things you said, then you're like, oh, that ain't going to work. Oh, shit, that ain't I knew at one time, you know, I, you know, I, I would look at sex films, you know, mm -hmm. do I still, dare I say the word porno, you know, but that was okay with me. As long as it's okay with the person that I'm with. There's other women like, oh, now, uh, uh, I don't want to see nobody. Uh, 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 ooh. Okay, well then she's, don't turn on the flicks for her, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm just saying all these things can be discovered and ironed out with simple conversations. You know, so, mm -hmm. so, you know, it's like, okay, all I know is she's a Gemini and she, uh, she saves the whales and she's got a good government job. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. What y'all, what's going on in the bedroom? Girl, that's one friggin' thing. <laughs> so, but you don't know. You don't know until you know. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm not trying to pull 18 things out of a bag, uh, or, you know, <laughs> box, and you know, the, the, you, you know, to see if I can please you because on some level, as I am questioning you and asking you what do you like or don't like or prefer, uh, you need to be answering some things too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, what about you? Some people have good sex once they get high. I don't need to be high. Look, I, I can drink a Mountain Dew and wear your ass out. <laughs> 
I know y'all gonna be quoting Look, me on that one. Mountain Just, Dew's gonna get you high anyway. <laughs> don't they? Don't they have some Look, kind of something? Girl, they got so much caffeine. Look, 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 Mountain Dew and the sugar. You yeah. know, well, it's one of the worst on the market. But I'd say Mountain Dew because I used to drink them. But any event, um, today's subject, like I said, is toys, and there are people who've been together for years who've never used them, yeah. and they're okay where they at sexually. You know, and there's other people who feel that they. That's just part of the performance. Right. You know what I mean? Like, oh, shit, you got some double Ds? You got some triple As? You got some this and that? Like, oh, shit, because you hate to run out of power during that moment moment. Um, uh, there was there was one woman who we really couldn't get together unless she was tied up. Hmm. And there's other women who you can do anything but tie me up. Right? Right? There's women who will not allow themselves to be handcuffed. <laughs> Y'all know that she's looking at me. I'm like, so, ain't nobody cuffing so, me. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so, but when you ask me, when you, you know, as I've asked you, you know, like, you know, what turns you on? Well, how can I please you? Or what do you really, really like? What, what do you, what's your, what's your definition of good sex? You know, and right, mm -hmm. you, you know, and if, and that is your term, your time to come up and tell her, this is what I like. Yeah. I truly do. I love deep tongue kissing, but I don't like this. I'm okay with that, but uh, the back door is closed to everybody. That's an exit, not an entrance. So you have to be clear about what you know, what what you like and what you don't like. And hey, that's not even. I can't even imagine deriving um, pleasure from that. Um, and ladies, you know, we've been very honest uh, with each other. Um, our sex drive does change. Mm -hmm. I am not only in it, out of it, over it. Um, you know, had a hysterectomy years ago. And at 67, you know what my, my fear was and my prayer? I, one, I was saying, oh, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose my drive. Right. You know, I don't want to, you know, I don't want my libido to, to, to go down to zero, <laughs> you know, and it didn't. And it didn't. And uh, then... For real, and then and and then as you say, you want horny old thing. <laughs> Let's play sailors, <laughs> sailors in Thailand. Your turn. I'm the sailor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I truly am. But um, what was I saying, babe? That your prayer was that you yeah yeah wanna... yeah yeah that I didn't lose my drive. And the other part was that you know, ladies, we um we don't stay as lubricated. Uh, older as we did when we were younger. And some women, you know, especially women who are having um, heterosex, you know, their their concern is like, oh, I don't want to dry up. I don't, I, do I have to use two tubes of KY right, jelly right. or whatever? That's never been a problem for me. And I'm saying, I'm 67. And, and it's not even like a problem because some people have that. Some people are naturally just dry and naturally more more wet than, than anyone. Um, when I first had my uh, first sexual encounter with a woman, uh, she was just wet, too wet, and it was too much for me at that at that. More time. or less, so your first time. Because I didn't realize that you know women are different. Some are you know all you had to do was kiss them and they they wet. there close off. Yeah, exactly. Close off. <laughs> Some women are you know you need to do fourteen things. Before well, you even you're working them. hard for exactly. the money. Exactly. <laughs> so you have to you know it's okay to use the lubrication if you if right. You need to. Yeah, I didn't say yeah. yeah I'm, it's not it's, it's only an issue if it's an issue for right, you. Right, right, right. You know, but what happens if um, she's got a problem with dryness and so do you? So now you got two dry. Oh, you know, so you know you got to work on that. You got to acknowledge it and hey, what we're gonna do about it is just get in the way of our full sexual uh, mm -hmm. appreciation and enjoyment of one another. Um, some things, some people just won't do. Like, she ain't nothing personal, but I was raised in the South and I can't do that thing. And whatever that thing is. And um, either you can coach them to get to the other side or you say, oh, look, we can do this and that, but we let her be okay with not doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all kind of all kind of situations out there, but what I am still sh shocked at, and it, I will say shocked, when I'm talking to my friends, when we have these uh, unfiltered conversations and extreme honest conversations about sex, more or less with, with the partner they with now, because I always tell people, I don't need to hear all that, because I know her, but people want to share, if you have that kind of relationship with them. And 
Um, some women like it rough. Some women, you know, can't ha get, get that achievement, uh, d d experience that ultimate orgasm unless they biting you. And if, and she showed me the bite marks, and I said, "That's not sexy." But that's me talking. But it right. may turn her partner on. Right. But you don't know that until you have the conversation. And I think you should have the conversation before uh, she leaves her dental mark in your, <laughs> in, you know, in your shoulder. You, you know what I mean? And, uh, you, you know, so so there's all kind of uh, ways um, to please your partner. Yeah. Uh, I'm not I'm not pro or against toys. I think they really help a lot of people and um, allow them to have maximum fun, fun. Well, I think they help a lot of people if they're not in a relationship. Like if you just by yourself, like you might wanna have a, a few toys uh, um, I, I, Hold there. on, hold on, well, now that's the subject I thought you would be pushing back on because we were supposed to talk about masturbation months and months ago. Remember I wanted to keep talking. Yeah, but masturbation is just not talking about masturbation. We're still talking about toys. I know, I know, but I'm just saying, you, it's not about toys, I mean you can masturbate without toys. Oh, and, and, get your, and get yourself, I, I get yeah, that, that, that's something I just want to be clear. For some people, they may want that, and it may intensify. Now, I have used different things with that, but... Um, when you were by yourself and waiting for me to come into your life? <laughs> <laughs> right. No, actually, it was a lot... <laughs> hey, 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 I don't need to know. When I was <laughs> divorcing my, my uh, ex-husband and, you know, kind of have that, that span where you're trying to get your life right, but you still need to be right. <laughs> that part. That part. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you can see, we're totally unscripted and unfiltered <laughs> today. Uh, it's still not too late to push the uh, fast forward button or like, oh, they went there today. <laughs> yeah, we have to because we are, yeah. we, we're keeping it real. Uh, I feel like intelligent people can have any kind of conversation. Absolutely. And so can knuckleheads, too. It just sounds different. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Right? But it might end in a fight, but it's going to sound different. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. You know, when you fight and start, yeah. you know, because you're going to say something I don't like. You know, but with us, we've been out there. We're grown women. We are women who love women. Mm -hmm. We're, you know, we live, we all have the same zip code, uh, at, you know, at lesbian land. And you want to make sure that you're, um, that you're doing what you all that you can do to please the woman that you're with, and if you're not with a woman, I'm sure you're looking for one, getting over one, want one, whatever the scenario may be. Uh, we are good. We are very, very good. So I know this is a lot to throw on you uh, <laughs> on a Wednesday morning, but you know, uh, toys. Um, you know, they're just one one of the many um, sets of tools that we have to to just to make sure you and your partner achieve uh, maximum. Uh, maximize the satisfaction. Uh, who doesn't want to ple please their lover, their wife, their girlfriend, or the hot little thing you just picked up in L.A. last night? You know, you know who she is. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and not just boys, B.O.I. Not just boys like toys. You know, uh, get what you need, and and you don't have to live in a vacuum about it because, like I say, if you have the conversation and you're feeling this woman, and y'all been sexual partners for you know a, a couple of months now go shopping so that she can have some input on you know what she like because you coming out the bedroom you know uh, into the bedroom with a with a 12 inch uh, dildo may not have the same effect that you looking for right. you know she be like oh you want to put that where and you're going to be with who not me you know what i mean so have the conversation because if you care enough and she cares enough to have uh, intimacy with you at that level y'all she deserves a conversation as well as you because just like you want to know what pleases her, you need to let her know what pleases you as well. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because I'm not shy about it. I'm really, really not. And um, so that's where I'm at on it. And as you can see, Rosa and I have very differing uh, opinions about it. Still do. And we've been married six years. Absolutely. You know, and still working on some things. Still working, you know, because what I call romantic, you know, you know, we got this generation thing going. You know, I might find romance like this. And remember, I'm old school, mm -hmm. raised in the 50s and 60s. So I think I'm Cary Grant, you know, uh, uh, uh. And I'm suave and, you know, you know like she ain't <laughs> even, she's like, let's get naked and go for it. <sighs> I need the music. I need the preamble. I need to scent in the air, a great dinner and this and that. And she like, you know, babe, I, like right now. <laughs> so, so it's different for everyone. So, um, I hope you gained uh, some insight on, or at least insight into our attitudes about it. Uh, uh, if, if with toys, uh, 
get them if you need them and bring them if you got them. <laughs> I like it. I Absolutely. Like it. That, that's all we can say about that. So Go definitely, ahead. if you all want to, you know, ask us some questions that we hadn't touched on, then maybe we can get into the, when we do part two, yeah. um, answer some of those. Um, that would be great as well. Yeah, cause cause this is we just part one. we will have a couple, another yeah. couple. A, a lesbian couple who've been together for 10 plus years, if not 15. Yeah. And um, how they deal with the subject and um, how they how they're navigating. And they may be it. able to answer some of those questions as well. So bring them on. Yeah, we ready. Right. So um, oh, you got one more announcement before we check out today. Oh That's yeah, mm -hmm. about the party. Yes. So, um, it is happening. So if you all are coming, please get your ticket. We're trying. I'm saying we're trying because I know people are going to be trying to bring guests. Not having that pop up so we want to keep a, a, a good an accurate count of who's uh, coming yeah, yeah so um and we really want our subscribers to be there um more so than anybody because it's really for you all yeah um, and, so, and, we and we're talking heard, about gay pride you yeah, know and this is doing great pride and it's not just what we're having is that sunday but there's things going on that friday, friday night, and saturday. saturday so if you want to make a whole weekend of it yeah you can do that as well we'll give you that information if you want to know as what's happening here. on friday and saturday as well as our um our party so and you've already released uh certain things with all three of the flyers right I put it on my facebook page but not necessarily this one but i will i right. can if yeah. you all want, want to see. Yeah, because we're not the only party in town, but when, when you're talking about uh, lesbians, people of color, and people who get the groove with you, it's us. Yeah. It's us. And there's yeah. two other party. Uh, I'll just say Trish. Trish Tucker is putting on a very nice event uh, on the 16th. And 17th. Oh, on both. Right. So she's having something that Friday. No, that Friday the 15th, and then it's a picnic on the 16th, and, and then it's our little light br brunch gathering private party on, on 7, 17th. Yeah. But we're trying to keep ours down at uh, about 50 people. Yeah. Keep it intimate and, uh, you know, good food, good fun, music, uh, connections and everything, and that'll be... Um, at just at Sharon and Roses, and you need to contact us because we need to know that you're coming. Absolutely. And okay. We have heard from some of you all, so we appreciate that. If you, um, you know, want to just call Sharon and try to figure out what's really going on and just kind of talk to her to get a vibe of, of the weekend, then that's fine too. So yeah. use that same number to uh, call Sharon and ask her about right. it. Right. So, oh, you can post it on our thank website. Thank you for the ones we've heard from. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to try to pull this up. It's uh, Zelma. No. 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 Nope. Do you don't need to tell who. Okay. Who, who called so you, you, you? You wonder who's running things. But I'm saying they no, may you're not right, want back, back, back. I said you're right. Okay. We're done. We're okay. good. Okay. 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 Uh. Right. That's how we do it. Because uh -huh. we've heard from more than one person. but We've heard, you know. heard from several. And all of you, we thank you for yeah. keeping in touch and letting us know what your what your concerns are and what you would like. Um, right. I think we're good? Yeah. Okay. So. so until next time, as always, we're wishing you the very best. Of all good things, stay safe and stay woke and just pray for this country. Prayers we've for all. We've just been set back. Y'all know what. We'll talk about that later, too. Yes. Thank you. We love you. Jesus, take the will. <laughs> take care.